Tell me, who did this, or I'll see you suffer the same fate. The man who delivered... who, who delivered the coffer said... He said Sid paid him. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him. Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! meaning of life. Wow. So he had intense feelings for Benedicta. Ifrit awoken. Clive is gaining control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as ignition. Ooh. Fire lunge drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage as well as unlocking the limit break gauge. Gauge. That's what it was unlocked. Okay. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix can be confirmed via the abilities tab in the main menu. Little break gauge is okay beneath Clive's health bar. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime into Ifri by pressing L3. The triggers, when this gauge is full, the gauge fills in battle both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi-priming temporarily grants increased damage, potency, and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard breaking strikes. So cool. what next? We return to East Pool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. Yep. Um. Let's check out the abilities, then. Ifrit Channel. Oh, they're in the center. Interesting. Mastery adds a third limit break gauge. Nice. Allows assignment to any icon. And any icon. Okay. So this can inc Oh, it's called limit break. That's why. Durr. Will of the Wikes. Summon a storm of fireballs to circle around Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. That could be handy. Attack while charging, inflicting multiple hits and forcing enemy back can be used in midair. Ooh. Very handy too. Sweet. Three and two stun. Nah, it's one damage and two stun. Um. That's three and two. Mmm. Wait, what? Um, temporarily improve attributes by channeling the power of Ifrit. Also known as semi-priming. 
determined by the number of gauges full at time of execution can be used at any time regardless of class recovery status. Cannot be KO'd while semi-primed even if HP is lowered to zero. Interesting. So that could be used for ending a fight if I have no more choice. No other choice, I should say. Uh, attribute bonuses, changes attack style, double spells, increased charge magic, magic burst, precision shot potency by 10%. Increased iconic ability potency by 10%. Slowly restores HP. Increases defense by 10%. Prevent stacker when taking damage. Second and third. Interesting. Um. Let's go ahead and throw Rising Flames on Garuda's. And then we'll go ahead and give Ignition a try here. Man, that's awesome. Can I see the current status? Okay. And we're at full health. Excellent. What is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Hmm. He's growling and heading towards town, so something not good's happened. Or happening. direction that you're going to. That's crazy. Well, I think Rising Flames will work pretty well in Garuda for now. Alright, so I'm guessing we gotta clear the town. Looks like. Yep, slay the soldiers attacking East Pool. Just trying to slaughter everyone. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? <laughs> you were born as a slave, and you'll die one. Come nice, you can actually pick up more enemies. Us. Take them with you. That's Talk awesome. Okay. We're innocent people! <laughs> Dang, Ignition will actually be a pretty good ability to have available. Because it charges pretty darn quick. It's probably one of my new favorite abilities now. It charges faster than Rising Flames. Someone heal me, damn it! Was there a survivor over here? I thought someone was saying, someone hear me. Oh yeah, that's an awesome move right there. I want to save my semi-priming for uh, whatever comes later, because I'm sure there'll be a tough fight. I just don't know how soon. Won't be surprised if there's a dragoon here. All 
must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. My Empress Annabella's command! Jeez. Big guy right there. Got it. I mean, look at how fast that ignition charges are. That's amazing. I'd be foolish not to have that equipped. Especially if I'm using Phoenix Icon abilities. Yeah. Huh, let's give it a shot here. Slain. Anything special from that champion? Nope. I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're too late! Gav! Clive! on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! And I'll leave you's lot to take care of things here. Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then.
Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kupka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Dang. All right. Well, for now, it's saying we have to go here, so we'll keep uh, keep on going for now. Try to stop soon, but I'd like to make some progress. Righting wrongs. To sit solo, then. We have a lot to discuss. Is there any new things? And what do you want? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. And she doesn't have anything new. Darn. Come again. Oh, don't. I heard Otto much back in the other way. And what stages we got here now? I have the Tempest, King's Fall, Phoenix Gate Ruins. Okay. Let's go talk with Sid. I can set a broken arm, soothe a cough, settle a stomach, but there is no remedy for what happened in Eastpool. My talents are worthless in the face of such cruelty. Yeah, I wonder what Sid's going to do then in response. We can keep running, or we can walk through this door. Uh-huh. Let's keep running. No. Walk through the door and engage. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then. With a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother.
And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, oh, yeah. well, I, 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 <laughs> the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the Mother Crystals. They're one and the same. 
Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the Mother Crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. potions for this if everything we were taught about the mother crystals was a lie then what else might we have been deceived about oh yeah that's definitely a truth bomb for you but interesting nonetheless we'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit it's a long walk to Oriflam. I wouldn't want you keeling over on the way Alright, writing wrong, speak with Karen. Karen, Karen, whatever you want to call it. Red letter day. A curiosity then. Oh dang. Um. Alright, so there's only psych missions in the hideout for right now. I do want to go to Karen though and Don't see if. See if I could do something about how many potions and stuff I can carry. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Uh, oh, for heat wave. Sure. You're better I'll be here. So we got it. Lionheart Tonic. Oh, that's cool. Gradually fills limit break gauge for 30 seconds. Said that one's own limits are made to be broken, but that doing so is easier said than done. Fortunately, there are ways of convincing the mind that such improbable feats are not only possible, but readily within reach, this tonic being one of them. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I reckon I can find a buyer. Go ahead and sell a little you bit of the stuff. Because even though it's useful for crafting, if I can grind the stuff, 
such a sharp fangs. It's easy enough to sell quite a bit of them to get some decent gold here. I'll be thankful you got that much. Thank Gil. Just so we got him. Currently at twelve thousand. You got out else? Uh I'd like to get up to twenty thousand, I don't think that'll happen yet. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it in tires Borbile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will you? All right. <laughs>